The news broke like a thunderclap across Europe. Moscow and Beijing forge an aviation alliance, Russia to power China's C919 jet. Headlines screamed from Berlin to Paris, London to Rome. For Europe's leaders, it was a moment of profound shock. It was a direct challenge to Western aerospace dominance. The partnership promises a new engine, free from Western parts and pressure. European capitals reacted with fury and disbelief. The storm clouds had been gathering. Today, the storm broke. The effects will be felt on factory floors and in boardrooms across Europe. To grasp the shock, you have to understand the C919. The Comac C919 is China's aviation dream, a symbol of national pride and ambition. For over a decade, Beijing poured billions into building a jet to break the Boeing Airbus duopoly. The goal, Chinese airlines flying Chinese planes worldwide. But there was a catch, the C919's heart, its engine, was Western. The Leap 1C engine, from GE and France's Safran, powered the plane. This single component exposed a major gap in China's capabilities. The entire C919 program depended on the political whims of Washington and its allies. For Beijing, this was a constant source of unease, a reminder of reliance on Western technology. The C919 was meant to launch a globally competitive aerospace industry, but as long as it flew with a Western heart, its wings could be clipped at any moment. For Europe, especially Safran, the C919 was a golden opportunity, jobs, revenue, and a foothold in China's vast market. The partnership was seen as a win-win. China got engines, Europe got access. But beneath the surface, geopolitical tensions simmered. The very deal that symbolized cooperation would soon become a flashpoint. Dependence on Western technology was a fragile foundation for China's ambitions. That fragility would soon be exposed. The turning point was the escalating trade war. Starting in 2018, the US imposed sweeping sanctions on Chinese tech companies. The message was clear, Washington would use its technological edge as a weapon. For Beijing, this was a wake-up call. Key industries were vulnerable to American pressure. The C919, with its Western engines and systems, was a prime example. What if Washington cut off leap engines? The project would be grounded overnight. The urgency was palpable. China had to develop its own engine. The CJ-1000A project was launched, but progress was slow. Building a modern jet engine is one of the world's toughest engineering feats. Despite massive investment, China struggled to catch up with Western giants. The gap was too large to close quickly. China needed a partner with deep engine expertise, one also facing Western sanctions. All eyes turned to Russia, a nation with a proud aerospace legacy and growing grievances against the West. The stage was set for an alliance that would reshape global aviation. The search for technological sovereignty became a national mission. The C919's vulnerability had become a matter of national security. The solution? A partnership with Russia. The world was about to witness a seismic shift. The partnership was both logical and stunning. Russia, with decades of jet engine expertise, had what China needed. The deal joint development of a new engine, the PD-35. This isn't just Russia selling tech, it's a true collaboration. China brings financial muscle and manufacturing might. Russia brings engineering know-how and materials science. Together they aim to build an engine to replace the leap and power future wide-body jets. This alliance is a direct response to Western pressure and sanctions. By pooling resources, they're creating a self-sufficient ecosystem, an alternative to the Western supply chain. The PD-35 is the flagship project of this new block. Its success would prove the West no longer holds a monopoly on aerospace technology. For China, it means sovereignty for the C919 and its aerospace future. For Russia, it's a chance to revitalize its civilian sector and reassert itself globally. The partnership turns shared vulnerability into collective strength. The message to the West, your era of unchecked dominance is over. A new technological block is rising. The aviation world will never be the same. The Russo-Chinese engine deal hit Europe's industrial heartlands like a bomb. In Villaroche, France, home to Safran's engine plant, shock and betrayal were palpable. The C919 contract had guaranteed work for a generation. Now, that future is in jeopardy. Thousands of high-paying jobs tied to the Leap engine are at risk. European governments had championed economic engagement with China, believing trade would foster cooperation. Now, China has taken Europe's technology and partnered with its adversary to replace it. The economic fallout could be immense, threatening Europe's aerospace sector and supply chains. If the Russo-Chinese engine succeeds, 
it could power other aircraft and be sold globally, creating a formidable new competitor. Europe's market share and export revenue are at stake. Leaders in Paris and Berlin feel outmaneuvered and exposed. The comfortable assumptions of the past have been shattered. Europe faces a crisis that is both economic and strategic. The question now, how will Europe respond? This engine deal is about more than airplanes, it signals a shift in global power. The C919, powered by a Russo-Chinese engine, is the first serious crack in Western aviation dominance. A new, non-Western technological axis is emerging. The Russia-China alliance is building an alternative world order, one where the West no longer makes all the rules. The world is becoming more polarized, and aviation is now a key battleground. Countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America may soon have alternatives to Boeing and Airbus. The predictable world of global trade is giving way to a more competitive, fragmented landscape. The world's reaction to the news is a study in contrast. In China the announcement sparked national pride, state media called it a historic breakthrough. On social media, citizens celebrated liberation from Western technological blackmail. In Russia, the mood was triumphant, the deal revitalizes industry and cements a key partnership. Russian media framed it as proof that sanctions have failed, pushing Russia closer to China. In the West, anxiety and alarm prevailed, stocks of airspace companies fell, and policymakers scrambled to assess the implications. The era of comfortable technological superiority is over. This divergence in sentiment highlights the growing chasm between East and West. What's seen as progress in Beijing and Moscow is viewed as a threat in Western capitals. There is no longer a shared understanding of global events. Each side interprets the news through its own lens of history and ambition. Communication and de-escalation are becoming harder. The world is decoupling, technologically, economically, and emotionally. Analysts agree, this is a game-changer, the start of a technological Cold War. Unlike the first Cold War, this conflict is fought in labs, factories, and supply chains. The Russo-Chinese engine project is the first major offensive, challenging Western dominance. Military implications are serious. A successful PD-35 could power both civilian and military aircraft, freeing China and Russia from Western components. This could alter the military balance of power. Still, questions remain about the timeline and feasibility. Building a world-class jet engine is incredibly difficult. The West retains a lead in materials science and manufacturing precision. Some experts caution against overstating the immediate threat, but all agree on the long-term direction. The West has been complacent, assuming its lead was insurmountable. Sanctions and export controls have backfired, accelerating the rise of a powerful rival. The verdict, the West, must prepare for a new era of high-stakes technological competition. There is no going back to the old world. The aviation race is on, and the stakes have never been higher. The skies are now a battleground for global supremacy. The world is entering uncharted territory. The Russia-China engine partnership for the C919 marks the end of an era. The age of globalization and Western dominance is over. For decades, the world believed economic integration would lead to political convergence. Today's news proves that assumption wrong. A new era of deglobalization and technological decoupling has begun. The global economy is fracturing into competing blocks, West versus East. Each side will strive for self-sufficiency in critical technologies. Supply chains and trade relationships will be redrawn based on politics, not just economics. The consequences, higher prices, less choice, and massive disruption for workers and industries. International relations will be marked by heightened tension and instability. The dream of a flat, borderless world is fading. A new, more competitive and dangerous world order is emerging. The C919, with its Russo-Chinese heart, is a symbol of this new reality. The future will be shaped by fierce competition for technological and economic supremacy. A new era is taking flight, and its destination is unknown.